It was a hard watch the Port Adelaide St Kilda game and it's going to be harder now for Port Adelaide to deal with some unavailability of really key players. Connor Rosie has done a hamstring and he was assessed and was allowed back onto the ground. He actually used the word himself after the game that there is a nick in that hamstring. He was going, He's now going to have to miss some weeks, including the, the showdown on Thursday night, you think. And the, the more shattering one was this one, the, the Sam Pepper damage to that knee and he was diagnosed yesterday through the scans that it is an ACL and that therefore means a requirement of a reconstruction. What Damon. a massive loss. He's a massive loss. Yeah. Sorry TJ. Pal Pepper, a huge loss for what he brings. To yeah, the he's one of the real leaders now and he's also the one that player, he, he yeah. gets him going early on in games and some of his tackles on Friday night was a highlight to that. So yeah, it's a devastating blow. Uh, St Kilda's going to be without Jack Higgins too, you would think, for three weeks. Yeah, the Metro office has given three weeks on this tackle of his on a Alir, Alir. I just want to get all your views on this. I'm sympathetic I think to it's harsh, Damo. Jack Higgins here. I raise that word in that, have a look at Alir, Alir here. Now, he tries to take the tackle on, that's just fair enough, and he tries to then dispose of the ball. And in so doing, he puts himself in a very vulnerable state. I, I know what the rules are saying, and I, I agree that he does need to miss a game of footy, but I feel three is an extreme on this one, and I'd be surprised if the Saints don't take that through no, the don't think he's system. a big guy. He's a big guy, and he's trying to kick the ball, and I think his own momentum was part of the reason why he hit his head so hard. You almost see Jack Higgins let him go at the end. I think three is an over, an overreaction. I, 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 I even think zero, but, you know, yeah. at, at that time, because I thought that he let him go at the end, and the kicking action was a thing. Well, how would you argue it down to zero, though? That, that's going to be the problem for the well, Saints. I, feel, I felt like he sort of let him go at the end. He realised, and he's a big man, uh, Alir Alir. So I don't think he let him go. I think his hand just slipped down his arm. Yeah, I, I think he's incredibly stiff. Yeah. Charlie Dixon, the full forward of the Port Adelaide, he's talking generically here yesterday on Triple M. This is not specific to the Higgins and Alir Alir tackle, but it is in the confusion around this sling tackle, dangerous tackle issue. You just can't sort of sling anyone, really. I mean, and it, it's so hard to try and go flat out at a player to get a holding ball or whatever. Their momentum, as well as yours, can sort of turn it into a sling tackle, and it's such a tough thing. I mean, there's, there's we don't know who's going to get on, who's going to get weeks, or who's who's not. There's no real clear sort of rules, I guess. Like it's up in the air, really, and that's that's sort of their own fault, really. So, just sorry, just aside from that. So he was on the phone talking. To, have you heard from him yet? Yes, we did text and we caught up. Uh, I had the wrong number for him a couple of weeks asked, ago, yeah. so it was the wrong number. Oh, so you were just annoying someone else with yeah. it. <laughs> so, who read it and then didn't respond. So who did you text? I've got no idea. Uh, the St Kilda coach, Ross Lyon, <laughs> was always honest and he, he was honest on Fox Footy pre-game just about their ball movement and what they were trying to work on heading into that Friday night game. We just went back to our, our strategies and our ball movement principles and when we did and when we didn't. And when we apply them, we're a pretty good team. And when we don't, we're really unpredictable and we get hurt. So we, we dived into that. And some of it's as simple as your, your mids not setting for contest and may, maybe rolling up into the back half of the ground when they should be getting forward and creating space. Not sure this was what he'd drawn up, Ross. I think they're second-guessing themselves a little bit. All the talk is around how do they generate more entries and more scores, but these are the wrong options to be pulling against a good defensive team in Port Adelaide. These are bizarre, some of these. This from Hill, you've got to give what the game gives you, and that's long down the line in that instance, not one into the middle of the ground, three on one. So Ross said all week they'd talked about their ball movement and trying to fix that up. I think he'd be bit disappointed with some of the decisions that were made by senior players that cost them it two or three goals. It was more skill execution, though, Kane, than the wrong option? Decision-making. That, that, that is it's a poor option. For Hill to go three-on-one in the middle of the ground when everyone else is set up down the line and yeah. go to stoppage was a, was a bizarre choice I to like make. your point, though, Damo. They're not skillful enough. Uh, I think that's where they're lacking compared to the better sides in the competition.